Hi guys, welcome to Making Sawdust. I'm Kevin, and this is my shopsmith. My homemade drum sander. I need some serious dust collection. Okay, uh, I'm going to build a shroud over the top of this. I have some dust collection hose, some PVC fittings. I have a salvaged piece of Lexan that I got out of a dumpster. Use what you got, not what you ain't. And we are going to make a dust collection shroud over the top of it. So stay tuned. One of the first things I'm going to do is cut my Lexan down to a more usable length. And yes, you can cut Lexan and acrylic on a table saw and carbide tooth blade. Just you want to make sure that it doesn't chatter. You want to go slow and you also want to make sure that it's tight against the table otherwise it'll kind of snap at you. So I think we're going to go with this. I am going to build a couple little brackets or something for the tailstock end. And I'm also going to finish my spindle. I'm going to round these over so that doesn't interfere with my guard. And then I will probably work on something for this end. Possibly a bracket, maybe a magnet, so it can just slip right off, and we'll go from there. When I'm engineering a jig or a fixture or a shroud in this case, I want to be able to eliminate some of the easiest things first. Basically what I'm doing here is just gluing a couple strips on to my tailstock that are going to support the end of my shroud. I'm also going to need some support on this end. And I'm not designing this to be attached to this point because I'm not entirely sure if it needs to be attached to the headstock of my shopsmith or not. So it's coming together pretty good. I have a sort of plan here. I need a way to secure this guard to my tailstock. I have a smaller shop vac hose I thought I was going to use because it did fit in the end here. But my shop vac hose that's coming out of the shop vac is this large one. I already have a fitting on it that fits the back of my miter saw. And my shop vac is not going to be in one location all the time. So I've got this. Trying to figure out a way to connect this fitting to my upper guard assembly. Now, I don't want to reinvent the wheel. I don't want to overcomplicate things. So what I have found is an old proof of concept cyclone that I have. And it just so happens that this fitting is the same size go into that right there. One of my favorite products in the whole world is FastCap 2P10 CA glue and activator. Basically just laying a bead of CA on there and then activating it. I'm going to have to come in and cut out Lexan on the inside of the tube, but I'll probably use my Dremel for that. The stuff gets rock hard and it's actually amazing how this stuff works. I have found a tiny little saw blade 
So we're going to try that option first. And most likely come back in with a burr and a rasp of some sort afterwards and clean it up. That worked surprisingly well. We will now change it over to like a little rasp. Maybe beneficial to use this guy too. Guys, that worked surprisingly well, I think. I'll have a, just a little bit of cleanup. A couple burrs, a little sand of that. And we are going to see if this works. We can bring the hose over. It can rest on top of my router bench. And then just secured like that. And we're going to see if this works. I'm going to use my tailstock as my attachment point for the shroud. So I'm just going to cut a little chunk of a triangle out there. Do a little bit of layout. I think I'm also going to use the groove for my spindle. Utilize that. I don't know if I've already said it, but I am a believer and a practitioner. You don't have to over-engineer anything. Use what you got, see if it works, and then find the weaknesses and modify from there. I have could have gone full-on making brackets and fancy bracketry and making sure this is all perfectly enclosed and bent the right way and I am assuming that it's not going to collect everything but one of the functions of this was to keep airborne dust out of the air obviously another function was to at least redirect it so when I'm using my drum sander, a lot of the dust is coming right up in my face. And I don't want to do that. When I wear a dust mask, it fogs up my glasses. And then I can't see. If I don't use my glasses, then I can't see. 
and it gets a layer of dust everywhere in my basement and I don't want to get sucked up in the furnace and all that. So I'm okay with it not sucking everything up, but we're let's let's test it out and let's see. These are strips that I am, have milled up and run through the planer for butcher blocks and I still get a little bit of snipe sometimes. And in my process, I could run them through the jointer, but it's taken off too much material. Usually I can just run these through the drum sander real quick and get a dead flat surface. Let's test this thing out. Sander still works. <coughs> Do notice there's a lot of dust on the underside of the guard. And that's usually all, that's the stuff that would have been hitting me in the face. But with a few modifications like a cyclone and possibly enclosing this end a little bit better, I'm going to improve my suction. It really does work incredibly well right now. Um, I try not to over engineer things. I want to get it up and running and use it. If you're making a jig or a fixture or a dust collection shroud, you don't want to spend a week to 10 days making the thing because usually you have a product to make and you want to make it faster. So I needed to get this up and running, which I did probably within, you know, two hours total time. I had it up and running, have a prototype that works. And now it gives me a metric and it gives me data so I can work on improving it. I know my failure points, which really none of this was a failure. I just needed to be able to see what I wanted to improve. So it's usable. I'm going to enclose this end a little bit more, increase the suction, build a cyclone, and then probably one of the next projects is get rid of my bungee cord, maybe a little easier adjustment for the table, and I really would like to have some sort of conveyor system, some auto feed system. It's actually pretty difficult for me to reach over the back side and push this through. Uh, I did have the table go in the other direction where it came down this way, but I'd, I'd also have to push it through. So, you know, an older guy, it really hurts my back and hurts my arms doing that. So a conveyor system would work perfect. So 
I'm glad you guys could join me today on my Shop Smith Dust Collector uh, video. And stay tuned for the improvements, the cyclone, a better table assembly, and possibly a conveyor. If I can be an inspiration to you guys to use what you got, not what you ain't. Work with tools that possibly are used and modify them for the best in your shop. That's what we're here to do. So I encourage you all to get out in your shop, start making some sawdust.